Anytime you make a document, you want to make sure that you do a spelling and grammar check before sending it to anybody. This is just a really short document on whether or not somebody needs medical clearance before they exercise, but it gives us a nice example of some spelling and grammar mistakes. And so when you're going through, um, you're, you're going to notice that some of the words get underlined and there's different colors of underlining. And that points to something that, um, that Microsoft Office, uh, Microsoft Word is identifying as a potential mistake. And so when you go in here and you, you can, as you're writing, you can be seeing those and what you can do on the spot is do a right click and you can choose what you think the correct word is uh, from right there. And in this case, there actually isn't one of them in there. So this is supposed to say moderate intensity exercise. So when there isn't a correct word, you're going to have to edit the word yourself. Um, so I can si simply click it, type in moderate, and then click out of that word. And you'll see that the underlining goes away because it's no longer recognizing it as a potential mistake. The other way of doing it is to go up to review and go over to this ABC with a check, which is the spelling and grammar checker. And it's going to find areas within your document and show it in this little window here. And it's also going to highlight what it's looking at in your main window here. And so it sees the, the letters HES, which is supposed to be his, so it's supposed to say about his medical history. And it's giving you some options here. Um, he's as a possible option, so that might be it, but again, you gotta make sure you read your sentence. In this situation, it's meant to say his. So I'm gonna click the first one, just double click it, and it changed his, uh, he's to his. Um, so it's corrected that error. And when, it, when I did that, it went on to the next error in the document. So this is supposed to say Tom's, but notice there's an S, then apostrophe, and another S. So we're going to look over here and see if it has a correct solution for us. Again, it did not find the correct solution. All we need to do is rem click here, remove the error, and click away, and it's no longer highlighted. So we're going to now click resume on the proofing window, and it's gonna go to the next error that you see highlighting this, which is supposed to say participation. Um, it's got some extra letters and things in here. This time it does have the correct, the correct correction here. So it has the word participation right here. So again, I wanna click it and it's saying that my document has been spell checked and grammar checked and it's complete. Most of your errors are going to be caught this way. But if you read the document closely, which you always should do, you might find additional errors. So for instance here, it says when consulting Tom about his medical history, the, the name Tom should be capitalized. So this first T, it did not pick this up, but we as uh, the person writing the document should again proofread our own work even after doing the spelling and grammar check to make sure that we don't have any errors in it. That was a quick overview on spelling and grammar check. Um, oftentimes when you're doing this, you're spelling and grammar checking someone else's work. And so you might wanna do something called track changes. So I'll give you a link in the description below on how to use track changes, which basically shows them what you changed in their document. So when you send it back, they can quickly find those changes, whether they're grammar or spelling errors or just changes that you made to style or different content within the document.